Uh, SPI. The keywords are MOSI, MOSI, MISI, MISO, and SCK. Um, and there's another one if you're doing multiple um, SPI connections. I want to show you the Pixi camera board. It's uh, not your normal camera. Um, it analyzes the different hues of objects and the only way really to show you this is the cool video, video on the, the Pixie site. Uh, not sure if I'm allowed to do this, but watch this. Drops all those balls and then watch this. It is analyzing every single object. It knows every position, its width, its height. It's, it's just amazing. Um, the fact that the, the photon can handle that data because it's text data. It's not um, image data, which would uh, need a much higher processor. The, the Pixie processor deals with all the, the image data, which is, is a lot of information, and switches it over to text. And then that information gets uploaded to the Pixie, I think, 50, every 50 milliseconds. Anyway, let's see if we can get it going. Um, the GitHub site. Uh, we are now on SPI and we need this INO. Now different than the last one, there is no library, or I don't think there's a library on um, the Photon, but we do need include files, but there's only a tpixie.h file and a pixie.h file. And so I've included those here. It's a little bit easier than the last one we did. So let's get to it. Um, we're copying this information which isn't terribly large. I should look at the code a little bit, uh, create our new app, let's just call it Pixie, and shrink that down, paste it. Um, uh, saving's weird at the moment, Control S seems to say. Uh, we want to do this, so it's capital Pixie.h, it's got to be capitalized correctly. Um, Let's go here, find just the pixie. There's the pixie. And I don't think this header file is super big. Copy it and paste it and save. Uh, the next one we want is T, and it's a capital T, capital P, pixie dot H. And really strange that that's in there. Uh, shouldn't be anything in there. Good, there's nothing in there. Um, okay, so we got to find the tpixie. tpixie and grab this. Copy and paste it and control S to save. Uh, just zip through here. Ooh, that's interesting. There shouldn't be anything in there. Um, I have no idea what's going on there. Pixie H is good. Pixie CPP shouldn't be anything there. Um, and let's save and then my one. Okay, so looking good. I could probably delete that, but it's not necessarily needed. Uh, let's have a look at the code. Uh, those include files, they're a pain to load, but they do all the hard work. Don't ever get grumpy if you've got an include file around that actually works. Uh, once again, these includes, these have been automatically included, but it's already there, it doesn't wreck it. Uh, let's just, there is the pixie variable that's described um, in one of those include files. I'm calling it small letter pixie. I normally put a my in front of it. I have no idea why it's like that. Uh, set up, for some reason I'm setting the brightness low and I'm initializing the pixie. Then we're gonna do a loop, uh, a character buffer of 50 um, letters and then an integer. Uh, blocks is a pixie uh, oh, blocks as a UN. But basically what it's doing is right there, it's figuring out 
how many objects it has seen. And I almost always work with one object, but you saw that movie. It's, it's analyzing uh, a few hundred objects. The color, the hue, and don't forget, um, pure white and pure black are not hues. So it's, it's analyzing hues like red, cyan, green, things like that. If blocks is bigger than zero, then it puts in a pixie integer, pixie.blocks uh, x. The x location, if you look at your screen, the x goes this way, zero up to about 400, and the y goes this way, I think zero's at the bottom, and probably 300's at the top. It also has variables uh, width and height and y, but I'm just showing you that they have, oh, here, here's the values. 0 to 320. So it's analyzing where on the screen it saw that color that it's been trained to look after. If the color is less than 10, it says in the console that it's on the far left. If it's between 10 and 100, it says it's on the left. If it's between 100 and 200, it says it's in the middle. If it's uh, greater than 200, less than 300, it says it's on the right. And if it's greater than 300, it's on the far right. That's all this is doing. Um, let's compile it. Uh, yeah, what I do. Let's compile it first. This is the part that, ah, crud. I've got an error. So I'm going to stop the video, try to fix that. Okay, so I had an error um, when I hit compile, it says no such file, and when I look up here, I have named these files wrong. Um, I threw the H in for some reason, so I'm going to rename them pixie But it's good to show you the error. Uh, nothing I ever, ever do works the first time. There's always some crazy little issue going on. So we need to save all this. I'm using Control S to save stuff. Uh, let's compile it again and see what we got. Compiling code, great, it works, that's awesome. Um, we already have a concept of what's going on. I'm gonna flash the code. Uh, might as well load the console. So I flash the code, and right away, it looks like every couple of seconds, it's saying it's got no object. That's because the Pixie camera has not been trained yet to detect any hue. The best part of the Pixie camera is the Pixiemon app. So there, um, I'll show you how you're supposed to train it. Well, actually, let me just show you on the Pixmon app because let's go up to clear signatures and then set signature one. Uh, I think my power is high on my Pixie. Clear, oh, clear signature. Okay, so set signature one and I grab that. There you go. Okay, so that's how you set the signature using the Piximon. I'll show you, well, actually, I'll do it right now. Um, let me, uh... Okay, so trying to set the uh, Piximon. Yeah, I'm moving it around. What you have to do is you hold the button until that thing flashes red, which is the first signature and then you point it at what you want and push the button one more time and you see it messed up that's why it's a little bit easier i'll um i'll try it again if you keep holding the button you get the other signatures so what i'm going to do i'm going to hold it really stable when i push the button there it grabbed it you can look at our code oh uh, I don't think the data works terribly good when Pixiemon is running. Object in the middle. 
object on the right, twist it around a little bit, object in the middle again, can't seem to get to detect the object on the left, oh, gotta turn it away, oh, there was object on the left. Okay, so 